Some nice horses in this fifth race. The favorite number one, Noble Talent, on the board at 9-5. to five. Here's another horse in from the Jockey Club in Toronto, and he, they make him the favorite here. Somehow, I this five-horse camel, he's racing the invitation last night. I saw something. I can't remember what it was I saw, but I knew his next start he will be better. And that is tonight. He's on the board at 5-2. to two. And number seven, Sterling Hanover, another horse in from the Jockey Club. When he raced here, he won two races going wire to wire. And uh, he handled them pretty well. He's got a shot here as well. He's outside in the seven hole. Fifth race now moving through the backstretch. And there they go. They're off and facing as they leave the gate in the center of the track. That's Camel Knees driving out for the lead. Moving up on the inside, Noble Talent is second. Camel Knees on the outside and slipping in between horses now is Ironstone Tie. They're three wide in that first turn. Ironstone Tie between horses now to take the lead. In at the rail, pacing up second is Noble Talent on the outside. Camel Knees third. Moving up on the inside now fourth as they pace around the turn is Pebbles. They reach the quarter in 28-2. and two. Off the turn into the stretch, Ironstone Tie has the lead by a length. Racing up second is Noble Talent, and Noble Talent now goes to the outside in front of the grandstand. Noble Talent up to regain the lead on the outside. Racing second on the inside, Ironstone Tie. Camel Knees pace is third. Pebbles on the inside, fourth. Racing up fifth is Zars Boy from the rear. Sterling Hanover is on the move. As the horses move into the clubhouse, turn Bimini J trails. With the lead by a length and a half, it's Noble Talent reaching the half in 59 and 3. Moving on around the turn, Noble Talent has the lead by a length and a half. Ironstone tie is second. Camel Knees paces third. Sterling Hanover edges up on the outside now fourth as they straighten out down the back stretch. Sterling Hanover now charging up on the outside goes on after Noble Talent. They're heading for the three-quarter pull. On the inside, Noble Talent on the outside, Sterling Hanover. Ironstone tie down and at the rail. Zars Boy on the outside now fourth. They reach the three quarters in 130 and three. Pacing around the turn, Noble Talent has the lead. Sterling Hanover on the outside, second Ironstone tie, third Camel Knees now fourth at the rail. Pacing on around the turn, it's Noble Talent with the lead. On the outside, Sterling Hanover is second. They're off the turn into the stretch. It's Noble Talent with the lead. Up on the outside now comes Camel Knees through the stretch. Down to the wire, Camel Knees up on the outside, Ironstone tie on the inside. Camel Knees. Well, last week I thought I imagined Camel Knees full of pace with nowhere to go through the stretch. So this week I put my money where my imagination was, on Camel Knees, the winner. Here he is into the winner's circle right now, a five-year-old horse by GT Skipper. He's owned by William McLean of Kerwood, Ontario, trained by Glenn Kodak. There's Bryce Fan. He drove him to victory. Lucky to get out through the stretch, but then he came charging up on the outside to win it by a half a length. Camel Knees, the winner of the fifth race. And he returned 793 20 Finishing second, number three, Ironstone Tie, $343, and the two-horse Pebbles, $530. The exactor of five and three, pay $26.20.